Oh, we went on this very last trading day of July. We're looking at this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 100 at 32,632. This is leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. That was our objective. And that's what we're always looking for, at least four higher peaks, peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. We haven't made a peak D. We're in leg D. That could happen Monday or Tuesday. We're looking at the S&P in leg C. So it should still make a peak C and then a leg D. And it's trading at 41.06, up 34.27. Very strong technicals. We're looking at the QQQ. NDX 100, trading vehicle, leg D. 314.46 was the uh, high back in June. PB minus when it failed in an arch formation, tumbled to 269. Came all the way back to 314.46. To the penny. I, how it happens is just a remarkable thing. Cup formation, beautiful, leg D. To the penny on the left side. If you're one penny high and it breaks to a new high, lovely weekly chart improving, I should say, weekly chart. IWM, Russell 2000, is trading at the Doji candle up 49 cents at 186.44. Also, leg D underneath the previous D. We're looking at gold. Now, gold's at a really strong move to the upside. I'm going to be talking about it in the next hour. Let me just double check. I believe uh, Larry still has a problem with his uh, voice. And uh, I've actually set the time aside, and I've got a plan for that to go through the commodities and the currencies and a number of other things that are very important, the type of thing that Larry we're looking at. Gold is right now up 11 at 1780. This is good action. And considering that the dollar um, is up 22 ticks at 106.42, gold is finally showing independent strength. That's what I've been waiting for for a long time. And you're looking at the TLT. And we'll be looking at bonds when I return to do the next hour. Bonds are 51 at 118.27. Um, trying, to, trying to get to the left side high of uh, June. And we'll see that was in the one, 119s. We'll see what happens. We'll talk about that a little later on. And we're looking at crude oil, which is holding very nicely. It's up five at 104.54. One of the reasons why for subscribers to the opening call my newsletter, we we in a gold star in a in a in an oil gas stock because they've moved so well. And so far, this is starting to break out with an almost almost inverse cup and uh, head and uh, head. Head and shoulders, Pat. And I'll talk about it more when I return to do the next hour. It's Larry Pesavento's hour. Trade work to see, but I'll be doing my work in that hour. And uh, questions have come in, and I'll try to deal with it. <laughs> 